So I'm going to be the second person talking about how you might write sustainable software. It might seem like I've been scooped by Neil, but <laughs> maybe not, because mine's delivered through the medium of popular music song titles. Um, so, seven steps to sustainable software. Um, apologies to Miles Davis for uh, misusing the title of one of his tracks for my title. Um, so, first of all, choose your weapon. I think you should probably choose something that's kind of mainstream, appropriate for the task, ideally something you're familiar with as well. Uh, get it, um, of course, use version control where you can, use it efficiently, learn how to use it. It's, it's very possible to use it poorly. Uh, put it to the test, that means test everything you can. Um, testing stuff is great in itself. You should start with one test though. Don't be over ambitious and then build it from there. Automate everything, stuff that's automated is kind of self-documenting, so it will save you time, but also it will help other people interpret what you've done. Um, documentation. Anything that can't be automated should be documented, keep it close to the code, um, and ideally produce it in an automated fashion. Um, open up, that means share what you've done. Far too many people are scared about being scooped or in practice. Uh, the possibilities for reusing, collaboration, research integrity far outweigh those concerns. And it's a prerequisite for number one, which is shout about it. Publish your code for a public repository, research registry, get a DOI, and then you might benefit from other people reusing it. Um, bonus points for anybody who knows any of these tracks, some of them will be obscure. Thanks to allmusic.com. They are Heitus Coyote, US Billboard Charts, 127 in 2015, Bobby Womack, They Might Be Giants, Automate is a track by Lara Bushwacker, uh, very good. Um, Nine Lashes, write it down, um, number two, that's the neatest one perhaps. Left Field, number 13 in the UK in 1993, and number one is The Vamps. Thank you. <laughs>